Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. Razavani for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got the man with the knowledge on this Sunday, well, Sunday midday, my man Spencer Veron. Spence, are you all right? I'm good. You good? I'm good. Spencer, uh, we both look a bit tired. There's a lot of boxing on yesterday. Uh, let's oh, touch man. on no. Usyk Chizora. What did we see yesterday from Usyk? Is he a player in the heavyweight division? He's not. Not after yesterday's performance, I'm sorry. He's not. Um, and I thought that he was going to be. But there is, you got all these other divisions, 17 other divisions, the 18th division being the heavyweight division. It's there for a reason. Uh, Usyk isn't a heavyweight. He would have been a heavyweight 20 years ago. Uh, but today, those big men, you're dealing with someone like Tyson Fury, who's like just under seven foot feet tall. You're dealing with someone like Anthony Joshua. What's Anthony Joshua? Um, six, 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 seven. You're dealing with mammoth guys who can punch. Uh, and we saw Usyk's leg. I saw Usyk's legs stiff on quite a few times in that fight. And, to, and I'm a big fan of Usyk. I'm a big fan of Usyk, the cruiserweight. This is a different division. Um, and we have to be, we've got to give Derek Sador all the credit in the world. He went out there, held for level for the first two rounds uh, with no real game plan. If his game plan was just to wear him down and there was no, there was nothing technical behind what he was doing and Derek gave him trouble, um, you couldn't mix with Tyson Fury. You definitely couldn't mix with Andy Joshua. Uh, so no, uh, maybe a good fight for him would be Deontay Wilder. He was out of the ring for a, a pretty long time. This is his real first test at heavyweight. He, he gave his performance a three out of 10 yesterday. And he said he doesn't want to be a world champion. He wants to be the undisputed heavyweight champion. Is that, are you saying that's just not impossible? That's impossible. You know, anything can happen, right? I'm not going to take away from the guy's desire or his belief. Um, he's a very battle-hardened human being, just by life or societal. The, the societal issues that he had when uh, Ukraine split from Russia, right? Look at him there. He's a, he's a physically and mentally tough person. But um, no, I, you know, I hate when I see fighters, it was Jim Watt, <clears throat> the former WBC lightweight champion, he always just say he, he would hate when guys would complain or look at the referee. And we saw a lot of that from Usyk. Uh, Usyk was out of his comfort zone. Uf Usyk did not impress me when he fought Chad Witherspoon, um, even though he stopped him. But Chad Witherspoon took that fight on a few days notice, right? Because he was meant to fight Takam, Takam got injured or whatever. I can't remember what happened, right? But So I'm, I'm just keeping it 100. No, he doesn't possess the power to keep big people off. We're dealing with Derek Suzora. <clears throat> Derek Suzora, for all the credit I have to give him, he's still battle-scarred. Not battle-hardened. He's battle-scarred. You know what I mean? We've seen Derek. He's, he's been around for, for a hot minute. You know what I mean? And, he, and, and he's still got a future. If he wants to continue, he's still got a future. But... I'm just telling you as it is, anybody trying to boost up this Usyk, and this is the next thing. Where are all the people who say that Usyk was better than Evander Holyfield? Where are they? Where are they this morning? Evander Holyfield, spare me, man. Spare me. Anyway, man, I'm going to close in this, right? Because I've got things to go and do. <laughs> I've, got, I've got things to go and do. Definitely got things to go and do. Um, Deontay Wilder's accusations. If you ever heard the rule, the, the length, it's on a, um, a guy, 7-8, um, in, in America. So you heard it, right? Did you hear it, Raz? No, I have. Right. He said that Mark Breland, Mark Breland poisoned his water. You know what I mean? I think that he, you know what I mean? <laughs> you see, like, they've, they've changed the laws in America, like, over a certain amount of states, out of 52 states, um, uh, out of 51 states, sorry, there are... Um, they're allowed to, to participate in marijuana smoking. And I think that he's smoking some different form of high grade to come out with some ludicrous accusation. Oh, Ricky Hatton tampered with a glove. Oh, and next thing, he accused Tyson Fury of having an egg in his glove, right? If somebody's got a, a something in your hand, what's, what's Tyson Fury, 19-6? Tyson Fury would break his hand if he threw a shot like that on Deontay Wilder, right? You'd break, you'd break your hand. So I don't want to hear no excuses, and I know, I know where this is going to go, and I've, I've, I've pledged not to get on this black and white issue. So I know a lot of black Americans now are going to be on me saying, oh, why are you defending Tyson Fury? Blah, blah. No, I'm defending Tyson Fury because to the purest 
of boxing I intelligence, someone of Tyson Fury I warm to because I enjoy watching how Tyson Fury fights and how he demonstrates his skill level to the, 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 the thuggish brute force that Deontay Wilder uh, possesses. I like to see skill. You can knock out guys, but demonstrate skill while you're knocking them out. And like, for, for Deontay Wilder to come up with, with such ludicrous accusations like that, um, I could, I, I'd like to know who's advising him. It's embarrassing. And it's embarrassing because like, you're gonna get so many people out there, and especially in America, like Black America, who are gonna be saying, yeah, man, Deontay Wilder's right. Tyson Fury cheated. We had this glove gate nonsense already. Look, take your loss as it was, because when, when Deontay Wilder got knocked down with a body shot, a body shot, what, did the, did the tampered gloves have something to do with the body shot? Come on, man. Let's just call it as it is. Um, give Tyson Fury props. Deontay Wilder should said, you know what? The better man beat me. I'm going to come back. I guarantee you I'm going to come back. And that's that. Because you haven't shown us nothing since the beating that you took eight months ago. You haven't shown us anything apart from your twerking videos. So therefore, Deontay Wilder must be onto something. He must be smoking something. I'm telling you this now. Take your defeat as a man. Come back from it. All this excuse after excuse. Wait a minute. I thought his costume was too heavy. I thought it was a costume. Now it's the gloves. Now Mark Breland, who is a really nice human being, right? Former uh, Olympic gold medicine. It was it 84 Olympics. He was mad talent, mad skill, right? He didn't accomplish the things that he should have accomplished as a professional fighter even though he became a two-time world champion, but he didn't accomplish what he should have accomplished. But even in saying that, to say that that man, uh, you, what do you say, like, the snakes or the perpetrators that you had in your corner, or, you know what I mean? It's just nonsense, man. It's just nonsense. It's, and I, and I, I actually feel sorry for him because he's around people are saying, yeah, man, you're right, man. That's right, man. No, you're wrong, brother. Seriously, I'd love to see Deontay Wilder just give him a hug and say, you know what, bro, it's going to be all right. But let's go back to basics. Let's learn the fundamentals of boxing and you can come back again. And on that note, you know what I mean? I'm going to see how much hate comments I get inside the, the IFL. I'm going to soon start ban IFL, right? <laughs> We're going to see all of that. But you know what? I still love this game. And if you love boxing, then you're meant to love me, period. Because I can debate with anyone and I can twist them up. You know what? Can I stand on truth? Peace, two fingers, I'm out. Keep it MTK global. I'm telling you, because MTK Global taking over the whole wide world. Peace, two fingers, I'm out. Love is the key, man. Put God first, you can never come second. To all my Muslim brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. Spencer Fair and Fire for TV, thank you very much. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free, impartial advice on all your debt.